quickly to Exodus 19 and 5. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then you shall be, be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. So we're talking about the love of obedience. How you, you know you have to fall in love with Jesus. You have to transition yourself from the pew to the altar and receive the Holy Ghost. Because after the Holy Ghost, you shall have power to love Jesus the way he's supposed to be loved. Yeah. Hallelujah. Obedience is when you do what God has commanded you to do. If you will obey the voice, you shall be his peculiar treasure. Amen. And that means that you are a peculiar people. Everyone is not going to accept you. Everyone's not going to understand you. But it's not about you. It's all about Jesus. Amen. It's not about what you bring, hallelujah, but it's about Jesus. How you will tell the people and the sinner man about God. Amen. Being obedient and line yourself up with the word. Amen. 1 Peter 2 and 9 says, but we are a chosen generation, yes. royal priesthood. A holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who have brought you out of darkness into the marvelous light. We know the light, hallelujah, is our salvation of Jesus Christ, and the darkness can't distinguish it. So God walk in you, you're shining all the time. You don't have to make your light shine, but you are shining all the time because Jesus is walking up and down in you. Hallelujah, you have to obey spiritually and naturally so. Yes. Hallelujah. When you obey it spiritually, you will do what God have you to do, not what you want to do. Amen. Like Eve obeyed the enemy. Hallelujah. She obeyed the adversary. Hallelujah. She didn't obey God. She obeyed the adversary. And she, hallelujah, she told Adam to eat, and he obeyed her. So it started in the back in the Garden of the Eden. Hallelujah. Well, she disobeyed God. We don't want to do that today. We don't. We want to find ourselves obeying God. Whatever God tells us to do, we want to do it. If He tells us to usher, we want to do that. If He tells us to sweep the floor, we want to do that. Whatever God tells us to do, we have to be obedient and do it. Amen. But you first got to fall in love with Him. Yes. In order to love God, yes. in order to keep His commandment, in order to keep His covenant, in order to be called a peculiar people. We have to love God. Yeah. You gotta love Him from the pew all the way to the altar yeah. and give forgiveness of your sins. Yeah. That's right. And be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's Amen. what Paul told us to do on Romans the 12th chapter. That's what Paul told us to do for our reasonable service. You can't serve God without loving Him. That's right. You can't serve God without fearing Him. Amen. You gotta first fear Him yeah. in everything you do. Because yeah. He's looking. He's looking at you, and he knows all about you. Yeah. Hallelujah. So I love the Lord tonight. Just came to encourage you tonight. 